an open source iPad alternative, NVIDIA embraces OpenGL4, and is Google going to fix HTML5 for us? That and more on This Week in Linux. <laughs> Now that the iPad has been released, there are tons of companies that are coming up with their own alternatives, Windows-based, Linux-based, whatever. There are tons of them coming to the marketplace very soon. HP has a very nice looking slate that's on the way, but there's a company out of Germany called Neophony that's making their own pad called the Wii Pad that's supposed to be based on Android OS, and for all intents and purposes, it looks like it could be an iPad killer. I don't think that it's actually going to blow it out of the water entirely because it is more expensive, but it looks like it's a very nice device. It's an 11.6 inch slate device with an Intel Atom processor, a webcam, 16 gigabytes of hard drive space or 32 gigs, which you can expand up to 64 gigs using a 32 gig SDHC card. It's got USB ports, it's got Wi-Fi, optional 3G, it's got GPS. They've got a WePad Metastore that integrates a bunch of stores into one, including native apps, Java apps, Adobe Air apps, Linux apps, Java apps, and Android apps. And while it is a little bit bigger than the iPad and it does cost just a little bit more, I think for what you get with it, you actually are getting a little more for your money. Moving right along, on the server side of things, Oracle did a demonstration recently of an upcoming version of MySQL that they tout as being 200% faster than the existing MySQL version and over 10 times faster at recovery. Up to this point, there's been very little movement from Oracle as far as MySQL is concerned after they purchased it, but it looks like they're actually going to be moving on with the product and making it better. Awesome. In graphics news, in the middle of March, the OpenGL 4.0 specification was released. Along with that, the 3.3 specification was also released. I know very little about those things, but when 3.3 was released, NVIDIA was quick to jump on it and provide drivers and support for it. However, they sort of held off on 4.0. But just a couple of days ago, they put out their 4.0 driver. It's only going to be supported on the newest hardware, but if you've got a GPU that's got that Fermi chip, you, you're going to love to be able to use OpenGL 4 apps. And of course, the biggest of the big stories this week, inside sources at NewTV say that Google is going to be open sourcing their VP8 codec they acquired from Ontu back in February. NewTV claims that Google is going to make the announcement at Google I.O. next month. Will this be a big change for HTML5? Possibly, but not necessarily. With YouTube, Apple, and Microsoft backing H.264, they're still really up in the air as to what's going to happen. Mozilla is obviously leaning toward AUG 3 or but I really don't think that's going to happen. Hopefully all the parties can come together and decide on something soon, because it'd be really nice to move sort of away from Flash. Well, that's about all the news that I've got for this week. I've received a ton of logo submissions after I officially ended the contest, so what I'm going to do, rather than putting a bunch of images in every video, I'm going to put a page on my website devoted to these things, so when people decide to send me logos, I can just put it up there with their name so everybody gets credit for their work. The page is definitely not ready yet, but I'm working on it, so keep an eye out for that. When it's done, I'll put a link in the description box, and of course you'll be able to see it from thisweekinlinux.com. That's all for now. For the latest updates from This Week in Linux, make sure to check out the Facebook page, the Twitter page, or come hang out in IRC at chat.thisweekinlinux.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.